No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world, and today I'm in here with... Lil Drop Top. Lil Drop Top, how you doing, man? I'm good, bro. A lot of people want to know uh, why you uh, leaked all my information. Let's just start there. Because I'm going down a list, like I'm picking everybody apart, you know what I'm saying? So I started, I started by snitching on people I know, mm-hmm. and then I'm kind of moving down the line. Right. So Trippy Red was on there, like it was, it was a few people on the list. So. You exposed him as well? Yeah, I did. We got to play hardball today, man. I need to know. My my family's safety has been put on the line due to your actions. Hey, man. I got to keep the community (laughs) safe out here. So, Who who are you? Me? Uh, I'm a rapper. I'm a satire. From where? Type of person. Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So how'd you get into doing this? Uh, Just SoundCloud. Just start fucking around. Uh Uh-huh. Just started. uh, First, I was making like serious music. And then okay. I just I started like I started just going crazy with like uh, fucking making like weird experimental songs. Uh-huh. And then I had this idea like so there's this dude named Malik right. th- that grew up with me, and he's kind of like kind of been a dick. Like I always, he always asking me for money. He's always like doing this shit. So it's just like one day I just decided like I'm gonna make a snitch song. Uh huh. I'm gonna make a song like exposing this dude. I'm gonna expose like where he lives. I know his his car, what car he has, his license plate, all that. Right. So, basically, I just made. I, I went in the studio. I just started freestyling, and then just started laying down his information, and then like that shit blew up on Twitter. Really. So then I just started snitch on everybody. Started to just apply it to like, people that were to, maybe yeah. a little more known. I had to I had to keep going up. Was mine the most viral one, or is it just the most viral one from my perspective? It's it probably like. Even with the first one, okay. The first one was like had like two million on Twitter in like a day, just off like Malik, because everybody was like, "This is so weird." Right. So definitely. Where the, where the name Little Drop Top come from? I just made it up. Really? Yeah. You never had a drop top. Uh, I have like five drop tops. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we could just sort of switch and bob them. I got, all, <laughs> got everything, bro. That's what's up. So how did this thing come about? About wearing the fucking belt over the tracksuit. Maybe, uh, maybe just stand up a little bit and let them sort of see what you get. Where, 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 where did this idea, <laughs> uh, <laughs> where did this idea drip, come bro. from? This is drip, bro. That is drip. Yeah. That okay. Is, That's what they mean. I'm the hardest dressed rapper alive. Right. Everything. So. But a lot of times people don't wear belts with sweatsuits. No, so. they don't. Yeah. Because they don't know how to do it. So. They don't know how to. They don't know how to pull it. it. They know how to pull it off and all that. So. Right. Yeah. That's what's up. So okay, you live in Detroit. Right. Is it wrong for me to assume that you live in some sort of trap house, crack den, trailer home, no, that's, something like no, that? No, not trailer home. Okay. I live in... No, 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 no. I mean... Hopefully that's a, that's a fair assumption. No, I live like... I mean, I've been in the streets, Ooh. but I'm not in the streets. Okay. So Retired. I'm in the sidewalk. I'm like in the side of the streets. That's what everybody says when they come on here. They all act like they used to be a drug criminal No, I wasn't. No, no, no. No, 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 I'm no, the opposite of that. Now they're out of it. I'm the opposite of that. Okay. You're I, still I, I put in those it. people down. Like, I, I'll go to the hood... And I'll just be like, okay, uh, you know, I'm trying to buy some drugs. I'm trying to, like, you know these people and shit. And then I'll just turn around and snitch. So. Oh, Straight up. Interesting. Yeah. So how do you feel about 6 9 He's a big inspiration to you? He's cool, bro. I, I think he, he's doing the right thing. <laughs> really aiding and vetting the cops? Yeah, he, he definitely. I think, so what people are saying is he's, he was uh, trying to be a gang member for clout and whatever. This is true. And then, and then got caught. I think what he was doing is he knew all along that he was going to put bad people away. Mm. So he just uh, pretended, like what I'm doing, like pretended to be a criminal. But if that was really his goal, he probably could have ensnared a lot more people. Like, I feel like he could have took out every blood on the East Coast, really. I mean, didn't he get caught before that happened? Uh, Maybe. Wait, wait, so you're adding, you're, you're putting sunscreen on your hand? On your, <laughs> why? It's not, there's no sun in here. I don't know. There's a light. The light's kind of bright. Right. But we good. We outside. Yeah. We inside. But You're inside. Yeah. Is your first time in California? No, I've been here a few times. Okay. Yeah. Doing what? Moving just, drugs? No, nah, no, nah, just chilling. Okay. Just yeah. What you got girls out here or something? Yeah, I got a few. Really? Yeah. What do they look like? Nah, I can't Show me pictures. No, nah, I can't say that. Oh really? Can't do it. You never you try, in you, California? You're trying to pull the me on me. What? The you can't, oh, yeah, you like can't do that shit. Forcing you to show us the nah, girls that I you can't, nah, I can't do that shit. I can't I can't expose anything okay. out here, so Right. Yeah. So what is what are you staying at the Cecil Hotel while you're out here? No. No. No, no, no. Where are you staying? Tell us actually that would be good information. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, 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 I'm staying downtown. So at the Cecil Hotel, I'm hoping. No, no, no. You didn't see that documentary? I know, yeah, I know what it is. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But I'm not staying down there. Do you ever kill a girl and put her in a tank? 
No. Well, actually, that's kind of the end. Nah, I can't do that. That's the end of the movie. The documentary is when they sort of like reveal that she killed herself. Yeah. No. Nah. Nobody had to put her in there. Should have brought me out there. I don't know. Investigate. Yeah. But no, nah, I'd never do some shit like that. But, but, uh, yeah, I am staying downtown. It would be dope if we filmed like an Instagram skit where we actually like put you in that tank. But then, like, part of the joke was and that we just, like, didn't let you out. <laughs> just sort of ran away. No, but I'm pretty sure it's, like, welded closed. We, we made a video yesterday. I was in the trunk of a car. And right. I was just, like, hopping out. I was doing, like, that young boy uh, TikTok thing. What was that? It was just, like, this, uh, it's like, a young boy song playing. Of people, like, hopping out the car. Okay. But I was, like, in the trunk hopping out of the trunk. How was the trunk? It was hot. Right. Yeah. I've never actually had to ride in the trunk of a car before. No. I didn't ride it. I was just in there. Oh, okay. I was just chilling. I don't think I would fit. Yeah, you probably fit. It's a maybe large, large like, cargo space. Maybe for a moment. Yeah. I don't think I could like do a whole drive in there. No, 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 no. You probably have to like cover your ears and your head because you're gonna be like smacking your head around on the inside. I don't, of, I don't think I don't know if you could open it from the inside. So you, not, gotta, not you gotta open. trust you gotta trust somebody to I'm not worried about falling out. I'm worried about like getting a concussion from my fucking head smashing back and forth when we go over a speed bump. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. So you're from Detroit. Yeah. Not the surrounding area of Detroit. Do you want to be a little more honest or you're from Detroit? Well, I mean, I'm from like Kind of a little bit outside Detroit. Not so, like, like, like Sterling Heights, like that area. Oh. Yeah. Because I heard Kasher Kwan diss Sterling Heights in a song before. I'm cool with Kasher. He's cool. She says you're from off Detroit. The list. Is she from Sterling Heights? No, no, no. no. He's and I don't even know what the fuck Sterling Heights is. I'm like, nah, Sterling bar. Heights. That's a bar. No, nah, Sterling Heights. Sterling Heights got a, uh, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty street. Okay. Yeah. But no, Kasher Kwan's cool. He's off the list. Right. Yeah. Oh, really? You wouldn't snitch on him? No, no, no. DJ he's, six. He's, he's cool. No, I, I'm cool with him too. So we're really? good. We're good. I heard they hate each other now. Yeah, I think so. I, I didn't really like, get into. This. Casher was supposed to do an interview at one point. Detroit rappers are kind of off the list, except for uh, maybe like Sada Baby. He could get it. He can get it. Why? You're a crip. No, I just I don't I don't know him. So oh, you know, I didn't know you before I did this. So that's a good point. So, but you can only snitch on people that you don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's like weird mm. if I snitch on. Well, Malik, I I knew Malik, but like. We weren't cool anymore, so mm. he was kind of a hoe, so. I hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know about FWC Big Key yet? I heard of him, yeah. I just interviewed him. He's like the biggest the op big, in Detroit. Biggest op, yeah. Big op. Op That's he calls himself, yeah. 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 I thought that was pretty cool. It is cool. I mean. Like own your op status. He, he's, he's, yeah. So he's just like the opposite of me. Because mm. cause I'm, I'm snitching on the ops. Most of these rappers would never snitch. Or say no, they would all snitch. snitch. They you would think? All, yeah, all of them. Every single one of them. Really? Every single every single rapper alive is a snitch. There's no rapper that wouldn't snitch. See, that's a nice idea, but I feel like at the end of the day, a lot of these rappers literally, like, their family, like, if you're a real gang member, like, the other gang members will probably, like, kill your family and shit. So you might have, like, a really good reason not to snitch. And then he kill 6 9 They didn't. But I feel like... They can't get to him. So that's the whole reason why. Nah. I feel like if he was a regular guy, he would definitely like, be dead. Ew. But most rappers got security. Though, All so. security. There's no, there's no way. Like everybody would snitch. Every single rapper would snitch. There's nobody that wouldn't snitch. So that's why people, when people are mad at me for it, like, oh, you're, you're a fed, whatever. Mm. It's just like, bro, it's not that bad. Like you're making it seem like it's that big of a deal. You know right. what I mean? It's most of the people that are hating are the people that I didn't even snitch on. Right. Like people in the DMs, like, yo, stop being a fed. Stop. I didn't snitch on you. I didn't snitch on anybody you know. Right. So why is this a problem? Well, it's like if you, you know, killed somebody else's family. It's not my family, but. I would still be like, but, yeah, he but should probably go to jail. But it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. I'm, I'm keeping. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like the fact that Six Nine is banned from streaming services for snitching, I've always thought it was pretty fucking hilarious. I don't just know because it's... snitching is a pro, beneficial to society thing. You technically, think it's from right? that or from the fact that he did a bunch of bad shit? Yeah, I think maybe it might also have something to do with his ex saying that he raped her and beat her and all that nah. shit. But I mean, how many rappers can you say that about that are yeah, yeah. not blacklisted? Right. Anyway, um, okay, so I guess that's, like, the question, man. Like, you've, you've got all this hype, mostly from exposing my address and social security number. Facts. What are you doing with it? Like, what, what are you going to do with this moment in your career? I'm just going to keep leveling up. Like, mm. I not snitched on Trippy. I dropped some information that people don't, a lot of people don't want to know. Really? Very, very personal information. Uh-huh. Yeah. I see it as, like, girth. You know, Boom Gang came out and sort of, like, made stealing his... Yeah. It's like you're making snitching yours. Just like scam, TJ with a scam. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, the ambulance. Yeah. <laughs> snitch rap might be the new, the new wave. I don't know. I mean, it couldn't hurt. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Definitely. Just keep leveling up. Keep snitching on more people. So what else you got going on in your life, man? I need some more fucking information. 
What else I got going on? I did this whole interview just on the pretense that you were going to, it was going to be interesting because of the fact that you exposed my social security number to the people out there. Facts. Now it's on you to convince, the world out there is like, I really don't feel like the same onus that is normally on me to like make the person seem interesting. I think this is really like on you. So Facts. Just tell them why they should give a fuck about you. Why should, <laughs> bro, because I'm just, I'm just out here doing shit that people haven't done. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here wearing belts over sweatpants. I'm out here snitching. I'm out here not only snitching, but dropping like whole fucking addresses in here and shit. Right. And then outside of this, bro, outside of this internet shit, I'm not outside like that. You're not. I'm not out here. You're in the crib. I'm I'm in the crib. Playing GameCube. No, I'm just in the crib. Just doing nothing. <laughs> Staring at <up> the wall. <laughs> just, just chilling, bro. Like I exist on the internet. I like I don't exist in, in public. You do pills? No, I don't do pills. Nothing? No drugs? You smoke I, weed? Yeah, I smoke weed. You I smoke mean, sunscreen. I, I like sunscreen. I got a lot of sunscreen. But what do you? you I, f I fuck with the sunscreen. It's just moisture. It's like I, I couldn't find no lotion. I, I hate need lotion. Instant moisturizer. I hate lotion and I hate sunscreen. Oh. It's one of my least favorite things about going to the beach is putting sunscreen over myself, going in the ocean, coming out. I got oil. I mean, it's better than skin butt. cancer though. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But you could also just stay in the house. Yeah, yeah. But right. like that's what I usually do. Right. Like. In I'm Detroit, trying to be mysterious. I mean, in Detroit, you gotta stay in the house. You have to. Right. I mean, you don't, you don't you have catch to catch a stray. Otherwise, no, no, it's no. not really like that. No, you don't catch a stray. Were you aware of like the overwhelming economic despair that permeates Detroit during your upbringing, or did that just sort of like click with you later on? Kind of later on, because you know, I was in, the, I was in, the, I was in the hills, you know. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, you were really like up close and personal. No, no, no. You ever drink any of the brown water? You ever go to Flint? On the Flint, no. Nah, get nah, yourself a I'm, cup. I'm, I'm not a no, nah, no. Nah. You never seen it in real life. Brown lean. <laughs> Yeah, but no brown well, water. Well, there's no water in lean. Yeah, I know. Soda. It's but just, I mean, you can... It could, brown, it could be brown. Honestly, I'm very health conscious, and I've always kind of wondered, like, could you just pour up the lean in water, or, like, how bad is that going to taste? That would be pretty disgusting. Actually, I'm pretty sure that I've drank it like Fucking, that before. Nah, yeah, that's nasty. I don't drink soda in my regular life. Wait, what kind of coffee do you drink? A uh, little bit of half and half, half a packet of white sugar. I feel awkward every single time I say it to an employee of color. Hmm. Because they, they, they always ask, white sugar or brown sugar? Yeah. So I say white sugar, feel racist, and then just hope I, to maneuver I don't fuck through with coffee. it. I don't fuck with coffee. Really? No. Nah. What, do you drink bang energy or something? No, nah, I don't. Like, I feel like if you wake up and you you need a stimulant to go to go crazy, to, yeah. to live, then it's like you're uh, not reaching your full uh, potential and shit. Right. So, yeah. I've slowly gotten used to just drinking a cup of coffee every single time I do this interview. And I was watching an old interview of myself from like three, four years ago. And I noticed there was not a coffee cup next to me. And I was like, oh, right. There was a time in which I didn't always have to have a stimulant on deck. Facts. That was a, that was a good time. I'm not sure it was it's that great, different. Great, great, but yeah. I, think I don't know. I just feel, it just feels like better. My girl just kind of got me like drinking a lot of coffee, man. Yeah. Like she just drinks like more than me, and it's kind of like made me just slowly over time drink as much as her. My boy, uh, today we were gonna do a thing where like I was gonna eat a whole nug. He was gonna cash at me a band for it. Oh. So I might do that later. So you're kind of at a thousand dollars to eat a nug? Uh, yeah. You're what? gonna get high as fuck. Yeah. But a whole nug though, like how bad could it be? I don't. I've never ate a nug, so I have... would I die if I ate a nug? Okay, so I have. Like, Prior in my life, people told me that like you can't get high from just eating a nug because you have to like. The, the, There's got to be oil. The, well, no, the THC has to be lit at some point. It has to be burnt or whatever. Like if you just eat it, if you just eat the nug, it won't get you high. That's what I heard. Like, what's the edibles though? It's just that's just the oil. But I don't know. That it's like somehow that's already been cooked and yeah. heated up. But okay, I have friends in England and they got pulled over. It's a really big deal to have weed. Well, maybe not anymore, but this was like 10 years ago. They got pulled over. They all swallowed the weed that in they Gl had on what, them. The streets of West Gloucester? Is that where it is? I don't know. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, been, I don't know how to say that. The UK, that the U, the UK is not. But hard. either way, they told me that oh, yeah. it was the most punishing, overwhelming, terrible high that they had all experienced. They felt like sick, losing their mind for like eight nine hours after eating that weed damn you eat edibles yeah well that's actually funny you say that because i was thinking right now would be a great time to shout out our sponsor 2020 you want one of these fucking sour rings bro i'll eat Fuck. it in front of your face so that you know that all right but is it you didn't lace it with some shit no i wish i'll eat one right in front of you so right, you'll bro. know all right bro. but this shit i want to know honestly like what happens to you after you eat these fucking rings because these things how much uh Fucking 100 milligrams. 100 milligrams? Doesn't sound that crazy? Or does it sound crazy? Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like crazy. I don't know. You're going to be I'll take fine. a bite. I'll take a bite. No, eat the whole thing, bro. The whole thing. I said the whole thing. Me and Currency, during our interview, we ate three. 
All right. No, granted, he's been I'm smoking a shitload of weed his whole life. I'm going to nibble on it. Yeah. Enjoy it. So you're thinking about trying meth or you just... Meth? You're on the fence? Nah, bro. Um, I tried it. It wasn't that bad. I was thinking about selling it. Well, like, for a while, I was trying to get money. <laughs> I don't know how, so I just... And then you just gave up? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, just, I was just like probably 16 or some shit. Have you monetized this whole existence that you mm -hmm. have going on? Yeah. I mean, like, features, promo, streams, all for that who? shit. Just random people. Future? <laughs> nah. who, who are these other guys you brought with you? They look like your shooters. That's my boy Mark Boomer. He's oh. a Detroit producer. Oh, okay. That makes sense then. Uh, yeah. My boy Lone Star. I was just hoping that, like, oh my God, like, he met up with these guys. They're from LA. They are going to extort the fuck out of him. That's what I was thinking. This dude's from LA. What? Oh, okay. Well, maybe he's Lone Star. Yeah, yeah, and that's Backspace. My, I respect uh, that. My manager slash cameraman. A lot of people, when they come to LA, they link up with the wrong people, and all of a sudden they're getting their fucking booty clapped. I don't link up booty with cheeks I don't clapped. link up with anybody out here. I just pull up. Right. Like, I'm just linking up with you. But, like, other than that, I'm not linking up with people like that. You got to be careful. Yeah. It's, it's dangerous. Well, we were, uh, well, actually, one time I went outside yesterday. We were in Santa Monica. And then these kids came up to me and shit, and, like, took pictures and shit. And then they were, like, talking. Like, they were, like, bro, you're going to get shot out here. And I was just, like, bro. Why? In Santa, Santa Monica? No, they're just, like, in L.A. You're There's gonna not a lot of death in Santa Monica. You're going to get shot out here in L.A. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a weird thing to say to somebody you just met. You know, there's a lot of, like, internet up. famous people out here. Yeah. It's like most of them are still alive. Yeah. A lot of them have done worse things than whatever you've done. We're exactly. So what the fuck? Like, that's kind of weird, like, to say that. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Just predict you, someone's death. What if, like, what if, what if I did die? And then, like, those dudes, I don't know. Yeah, does that's that... That's weird. He said it the way he said it was weird. He does was that like, fuck with you in your head to know that all these fans who, who watch you would probably, like, not lose any sleep if, if someone did blame you? And that, no, that yeah, would probably yeah. just be more content? They're, they're probably happy as fuck. There's people it, praying on that shit. Just be more content. There's probably people praying on praying on that shit every right. day. Like when Boom Gang was at the height of his popularity, you think if one of them convenience store dudes killed him, like you think people would have been sad. Well, All those no. people are there for the fucking freak show. Maybe now they would care because they know him more as like a person. Yeah. No. Nah, fuck, dude. They wouldn't give a shit. They would be like a celebration. Yeah. All the meme pages would be. It's happy important to remember. Yeah. The meme pages hate me. Do they? Yeah. Because I, I used to run a bunch of promo on meme pages, like doing dumb shit. Oh, you would pay for it? Yeah. How were you getting money? This was like, oh, undisclosed business. Working at Walgreens? Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I can't talk about it. But uh, mm. and, but anyways, nah, like, this was like a few years ago. I was just doing like, I was just doing kind of like some cloud chasing shit from like people used to do in 2018. Mm. You know, like the Boom King era. Right. So I would just buy promos and people would just get mad. And then they started posting me for free once I started doing the snitching shit. And uh -huh. then everybody's just come back like, bro, stop posting this guy. And so those people, like, those people hate me. Right. So. Damn. They fucking. The meme page community, like, all those pages fucking hate me. Really? Yeah. I'm like. Yeah. yeah. It's so, like that. Yeah. It's like that sometimes. Um, okay. What, what, what else do you want the world to know about you? What, what's important for them to consume about little drop top before I go smoke a blunt? Oh. Um, <laughs> shit. Uh. Bro, you never know what I'm going to do, bro. You, you don't. You never know who I'm going to snitch on next, You bro. really don't. And the thing is, people are like, you can't just keep sn making snitching songs forever. What did you say? A badge. Nah. But look. Uh, oh, you brought a badge with you? I didn't bring a badge. Oh. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I brought this. And I brought my phone. I said, bro, I don't know. I don't know what he has. But uh, no, nah, like people keep saying, like, you can't, you can't keep snitching forever. It's like, why not? Right. Why not? Yeah. Like Drake's still rapping. <laughs> just so. whatever you do, you just you can't, keep doing you can't, it. Yeah, bro, Robbing LeBron, a are a bro, LeBron different. is still playing basketball, bro. Right. Imagine in 2003, you came up to LeBron like, bro, you, you can't hoop For you, forever. I mean, the argument against that, I guess, would be that like LeBron makes millions and millions of dollars. Yeah. World famous for playing basketball. Yeah. Snitching, maybe not. It's a lucrative path in the long run. Uh, you never know, bro. Yeah. But like 1890s, like basketball wasn't shit. Right. So. I mean, the best thing you can do if you want to help out society, really, is go tattle on a criminal. You got you to pick the right kind of criminal. Because if you were report, if you were snitching on, oh, you know how? Okay, you know how I really actually. Get money? I'm surprised your page is even still up because it just seems like doxing people is like a big deal on got, social media. Well, okay, here, even here. though you're not really doxing people, they they could still pass that off. I kind of got a plug for Instagram. I mean, I got my page deleted, but not for that. And another thing, I don't really post that shit on Instagram. Uh, I kind of just like uh, post it on Twitter because Twitter oh no. doesn't give a fuck. They and don't. then when it blows up on Twitter, it goes everywhere else. It goes to Instagram. It goes to like TikTok. Um, oh, and another thing, I post it on TikTok. TikTok doesn't care. But they put it, they take videos down for weird shit. It's because it's run by the Chinese government and they want all the Americans to get exposed anyway. Yeah. 
But Instagram, I don't. I try not to post that bullshit on Instagram. Right. I keep it like Christian on Instagram. Are you Christian? Nah. <laughs> is any of this real? Yeah. Say, is any of this real? That's not for you. <laughs> but no, you said, is any of this real? No, of course it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Everything's real. Okay. Yeah. So, and then you said, like, how do I get money? Well, like, okay, so you know how, like, you, you ever, ever seen dr- that movie Gummo? I don't know, the six nine. Oh, just keep no. going. Nah. No. <laughs> but look, look, look. No. Okay, so you know how you're asking how I get money for some of this shit? Um, all right, so you know, you ever drive by a billboard? Uh, and I'll say like yeah. uh, twenty five thousand dollar reward, so type shit. Like uh, I've done a couple of those, really? a couple of those. So <laughs> that's tight. And then I take that, I invest the stock market, fucking Bitcoin, all that shit. If you can make it to the point of having a billboard up encouraging people to snitch on you, then uh, you know you must be killing it as a criminal. Oh you, wait, you mean uh, well the police put that up, or you mean you you want like a billboard about me type shit? No, I'm never mind. This, you know, if, if if people want to like, uh, if the police want to arrest you so bad that they're willing to actually give people money. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, most pretty wanted, impressive. Yeah, that's most I'm always wanted. kind of amazed when I see that. Most Who the wanted fuck is type putting shit. up this money. It's probably somebody that's like on some fucked up shit. But you know, okay, there was a situation in L.A. where a guy and a girl are driving on the highway. Somebody cuts them off. They fucking shoot a mm-hmm. gun at the car, kill a baby, yeah, like a seven year old or some shit, and then they put out a fucking hundred thousand dollars for the for the criminal. And I don't know if the the reward was why they got the person right away, but they got the person right away. So here, here, here's an undisclosed thing about that shit. They make it so hard to get that money. That's what I'm thinking now. Yeah. They got to, you got to get prosecuted. They got to hit them with the charge that they were aiming for. So if mm. the, they're looking for murder and they get a plea deal type shit and they get they like get 10 years, they're like, uh, we can't give you the 100,000. They only got 10 years. We wanted life. So it's like we gotta, you know, it, they make it so they fucking mm. jump through circles, you know. The, the trial might take two years to get the fucking trial. So, right. the Lady Gaga <clears throat> dog walker. Gaga. Yep. Gaga. Yeah. The, uh, the Lady Gaga dog see, walker. See, that's, that's just money though. Right, but I'm saying that like the dudes who took the dog and shot the fool who was walking the dog, mm. they had one of their girls just basically go into the police department. The police start researching her. She was wanting the reward, so they're already thinking like this seems kind of sketchy. She knows exactly whose dog this is. They start looking into it. Boom! It's like her boyfriend is one of the dudes who took the dog. They figured it out super fast. Yeah, but like when you got money like that, you can fucking get the police to work quicker. But it's crazy because they could have just sold that dog for like ten grand and just got it over with. Yeah. Shit. I'm not in business of stealing dogs, so. You on Tinder out here? Yeah, yeah, I'm on Tinder out here. But, really? But like, it's catfish. So. <laughs> you should pretend to be somebody else. Pretend to be, pretend to be Fat Boy SSC. No, no, it's like my picture, but it's like a completely different, like, bullshit information. Really? Yeah. It's bullshit information. What's, what's, <laughs> your, what's fat, your bio say? Fat Boy SSC. I don't think it says anything. It just, it's just, it just says I'm out here or some shit. I used to have my height as my Tinder bio. Uh-huh. I like think seven I, two or something. You lie. I would lie. Uh, yeah. Like crank it up an inch. I'm six three. I would, I would say six four. Six four. Yeah. I'm pretty sure my Tinder is still out there, and it still says 6'4". Yeah. Ever, but I would put my dick length now, too. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll trip your Red's dick length. I'll drop that shit. Oh, really? Yeah. It's girth. You seen it? Girth. Yeah. That's hot. Yeah. What else do the people need to know? Man, they need to know that uh, red track suits are hard. I was thinking I could use one of them. Yeah. I have, like, five of these. I wear a black one all the time. Really? But there's this kid on fucking TikTok that's, like, stealing my fucking drip. Like, he, he makes every TikTok with the same red Adidas shit. So I'm going to, like, fucking report his page. You should. Yeah. I like how that's, like, what it takes to be a tough guy these days. I'm going to report his page. Yeah, bro. I'm not going to beat take his down, ass. I'm going to report his page. Take, take down their, their income, bro. <laughs> I'm going to shoot him. Nah, fuck that. I'm going to report his page. <laughs> <laughs> Get you permanently banned, bro. <laughs> Respect. Oh, man. Little drop top. Last chance. Any, any last words here? Last words here, bro. Hey, just keep following what I'm doing, bro. Little drop top, uh, Instagram golf cart gang. Shit, bro. I'm about to be doing more than snitching, bro. You're going to see some, like, more crazy shit away from snitching. I can't really disclose, but. I lay in wait. Yeah. Let's, let's go. Let's get it. No jumper. Oh, we, oh yeah. We twerking uh-huh. on the, we're twerking on the ops all 2021. Oh, we're twerking on them. Yeah. That's it. Twerking on big op. On, on all the ops. FWC big key. You know what I'm saying? If, twerking if, on him. That's, you know, he's not going to like that. He's thick, though. But, Tall too. Yeah, he could probably jump over you. I don't know about that, but he could gallop over you. He just like fucking. I yeah, actually, I don't know. He don't look like much of a jumper. <laughs> he said gallop. <laughs> he said he played basketball though. Yeah. No jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes. Like, comment, and subscribe. And nojumper.com if you want to support. We out. <laughs>